Hey there students, it's Ms. Adams, and in this video, we're going to learn about displaying quantitative data with STEM plots. All right, making and interpreting a STEM plot. To become president of the United States, a candidate does not have to receive a majority of the popular vote. The candidate does, however, have to win a majority of the 538 electoral votes that are cast in the Electoral College. The table shows the number of Electoral, electoral votes in 2020 for each of the 50 states and the District of Columbia. Make a STEM plot of these data. All right, so we're going to use split stems. So, and we're going to have 0 through 4 and 5 through 9, um, 10 through 14, 15 through 19, 20 through 24, 25 through 29, and so on. All right, so we're going to go through and look and see. Um, so in the 0 to 4, the smallest, we have 3. We have several 3s. We have quite a few 4s. And then we're moving into the 5s. So 5, we have 3 5s, um, 6 6s, six 3 7s, 2 8s, and 3 9s. For the 10 to 14, all right, we're putting the 0 there to represent the 10. So it's the 1 and the 0 come together to make a 10. There was four 10s. There was four 11s, one 12, one 13, one 14. Uh, 15 through 19, we had one 15, two 16s, one 18. 20 through 24, we had two 20s. 25 through 29, we had two 29s. Uh, we didn't have anything in the 30 to 34. We did have 138, and we had 155. All right, and when you're making a stem plot, you do need to include a key um, to kind of say what the things you're measuring are. So 2 and then the line 9 represents 29 electoral votes. All right, what percent of the states get 10 or more electoral votes? All right, so 21 out of the 51 had 10 or more electoral votes. So um, I'm including the 10s and everything above it. I counted how many I had. So 21 out of 51 or about 0 0.412, 41.2% of the states get 10 or more electoral votes. Describe the distribution of electoral votes. So remember, if you're describing the distribution, we're going to use the acronym SUCKS, Shape, Unusual Feature, Center, Spread. All right, so the shape was kind of skewed to the right, and when you're looking at a stem and leaf plot, you really want to take it and imagine turning it so that the numbers are going increasing from left to right. So like turning it and seeing what the shape would look like. Um, this sometimes can be a little bit challenging. Um, so it's skewed right with a peak on the zero or the five to nine stem and gaps from 29 to 38 and then 38 to 55. Um, some unusual features would be the Texas with 38 and California with the 55. Those appear to maybe be outliers. Uh, the center, the median is eight electoral votes and the spread, the number of votes varies from three to 55. All right, a back-to-back -back stem plot. So this one, again, is a little bit more difficult when you're trying to talk about the shape because you have to kind of imagine uh, turning the one. The one on the right side is easier to envision because you can turn it. The other one, you kind of have to imagine flipping it across the number line and then turning it. Um, so in Major League Baseball, there are 30 teams with 15 in the American League and 15 in the National League. The stem plot shows the number of doubles for each team in a recent year organized by league. So we have American League and National League, and this is the number of doubles that they had. So which of the two leagues typically hits more doubles? All right, so the American League, um, American League median is 290 doubles, and the National League median is 280 doubles. So I just kind of counted from both sides um, to see which one fell in the middle. All right, you could list out all the numbers in order from smallest to largest to find that as well. 
Um, are the shape of the doubles distribution similar or different in the two leagues? Justify your answer. Okay, I'm going to say they're a little different. Uh, you can kind of, hopefully, maybe you can tell one skewed one way, one skewed the other. So although both are roughly symmetric, um, the National League has a slight left skew, while the American League has a slight right skew with a potential outlier at 345. All right, thanks for watching and see you next time.